What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to teach you how to fix minor issues in your Mac browser or in your Safari browser. And these can be, you know, whether you're missing things on your page, uh, your page isn't loading all the way, just little stuff like that. And I'm going to show you a three step trick that you can use to fix pretty much 90% of browser issues. And we're going to start right now. So first thing you're going to do, let's say hypothetically, I am in Safari and I'm having issues, right? Like Google, this page here didn't load or something's not happening here. Or even let's just say this is a completely white page and you have a like a loading bar and it just won't go right. Like you're stuck. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Safari. We're going to click here. We're going to go to preferences. OK, it's going to open your preference window along the top. You'll have your tabs. We're going to click on advance, which is this one here. OK. At the very bottom, <clears throat> there is a checkbox, show develop menu in menu bar. We check that off. And now if you notice up here, you'll have file edit view, but you have develop as well. So develop is up here. We're gonna go ahead and close that. Okay. We're gonna click on develop. About halfway down in develop, you're gonna have empty caches. You're gonna empty your cache. After you empty your cache, you're gonna go to Safari. You're gonna quit Safari, okay? And then before you launch Safari, you're gonna hold shift on your keyboard and launch Safari. After you do this, you should have no more issues. It should fix 90% of issues. Now there are gonna be one-offs where you're gonna have problems. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, this should fix most problems. Thank you for joining me again. I hope this helps you with any problems that you're having. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I do how to's on this channel. I also do reviews of different products and services and I'm mainly into stocks. So if any of these things interest you, Definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.